हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन कोर्स ऑफ मैकेनिकल मेजरमेंट एंड मेट्रोलॉजी माई सेल्फ अभिषेक त्रिवेदी फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एट एल जे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी वी आर डिस्कसिंग फोर्स टॉर्क प्रेशर स्ट्रेन एंड टेम्परेचर मेजरमेंट एज वेल एज इट्स इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी आर डिस्कस टॉर्क मेजरमेंट एंड द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स विच आर डायरेक्टली यूजफुल फॉर द मेजरमेंट ऑफ द टॉर्क इन विच वी हैव डिस्कस द रोब्रिक डायनामीटर हाइड्रोलिक डायनामीटर एंड एडी करंट डायनामोमीटर दोज ऑल डायनामोमीटर्स आर फॉलो अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ द एब्जॉर्बशन टाइप डायनामोमीटर एज वी हैव डिस्कस दैट एब्जॉर्बशन टाइप डायनामोमीटर हैविंग द टेंडेंसी टू एब्जॉर्ब द एनर्जी फ्रॉम द शाफ्ट पावर इट विल ट्राई टू रिड्यूस द स्पीड ऑफ द शाफ्ट टू द जीरो वैल्यू एंड वंस द शाफ्ट विल अचीव द जीरो वैल्यू वॉट एवर द रेजिस्टेंस और वी कैन से वॉट एवर द फ्रिक्शनल रेजिस्टेंस जनरेटेड इन साइड द शाफ्ट will directly calculated and we are calculating the torque which is generated or we can say shaft power which is generated by the shaft today we are going to discuss the concept of the strain the strain measurement is a very small concept but it is widely used in the many of the mechanical industries if we have to check whether the particular material or we can say if we have to check whether the particular component will change its shape or not we are using the strain measurement so let us start with the concept of the strain and then we are going to discuss a basic gauges which are useful for the strain measurement strain strain can be defined as the change in the length per unit original length normally the strain can be measured with a different different strain gauges you have already discussed in the menu of the design subject that the strain can be written as epsilon which shows the delta l change of the length to its original length so from the equation i can say that whatever the change in the length generated we are calculating the length or we can say we are uh, measuring the length in terms of mm and whatever the original length is there we are also measuring the original length in terms of mm so according to mathematics this is has been cleared out so the particular strain gauge is a unit less parameter the parameter of the strain is a unit less the basic types of strain gauges are mechanical strain gauge optical strain gauge and the electrical strain gauge mechanical strain gauge elect uh, the all the three category of the strain gauge are totally depends on the core concept or we can say the core field of the measurement of the strain in the mechanical strain gauge we are using the measuring instrument which are totally depends on the mechanical elements which are totally depends on the mechanical setup whereas in the optical strain gauge we are using the different different lenses we are using the different different optics theory for the measurement of the strains whereas in the electrical strain gauge we are using the different different sensors with the circuitry for the measurement of the strain by using the electrical strain gauge setup so we have the three different categories for the measurement of the strain gauge that is the mechanical optical as well as the electrical strain gauge the very basic strain gauge which are used in the nowadays that is the rosset gauge the name of the gauge is rosset rosset gauges the name of the gauge is delta gauge delta strain gauge these two are widely used mechanical strain gauge which are which we are using nowadays but you are not supposed to require to learn this strain gauge in detail but you have to just remember this name rosset and the delta strain gauge which are widely useful in the mechanical industries now over time then we are going to discuss a basic idea of the gauge factor or we can say the strain sensitivity factor suppose suppose you have the two different strain gauges let's say a and b and you have to select one of them then how you are supposed to check or we can say how you are supposed to select which one is the best so as we have discussed already this concept in the sensitivity definition that what you are supposed to do we are simply using the input let's say we are providing the same input let's say 10 here this is the length of the particular let's say strain gauge that is a 10 mm then we are supposed to provide the uh, we are supposed to check whether the 
resistance of the instrument is there or not let's say phi omega that is the resistance of the particular instrument then what you are supposed to check we are checking that by changing the length of particular unit what is the change will be generated inside the resistance of the material by changing the length what is there what is the change in the materialistic resistance then we are supposed to select a particular gauge as a based gauge from the comparison gauge factor it is a very important parameter for the strain gauge it measures the amount of resistance change for the given unit strain and therefore it is serves as an index of the strain sensitivity of the gauge it is also called as a strain sensitivity factor which shows or we can say it is also known as the fractional change in the resistance divided by the unit strain fractional change means the change of the resistance to its original resistance divided by the unit strain we can write this as a by unit strain strain can be written as a delta l by l so we can say that the gauge factor or the strain sensitivity factor can be written as delta r upon r divided by delta l upon l where we know that the delta l by l that is the basically a strain so i can write it as a gauge factor delta r by r upon strain epsilon so this is the gauge factor okay i hope you have properly cleared about the gauge factor then the last theory for the strain measurement that is the theory of strain gauge first of all let us understand what is the theory of strain gauge suppose i have a resistance wire i know the value of the resistance r that is let's say rho l upon a where rho that is the resistivity of the material l that is the length of the material and a that is the cross sectional area of the material i will apply a pulling force over here i know once i will start pulling it down the length of the rope will be slightly increases but at the cost of its diameter the diameter of the particular wire will be slightly reduces let's say the change in the length will be generated delta l where the original length is l so i know the epsilon that is delta l upon l we know what is the area the cross sectional area of the particular wire that is let's say pi by 4 d square if pi by 4 i will take as a basic constant value then i can write it as a pi by c of d square where c shows the constant value we know the resistance r is equal to rho l upon a now the area that is a c d square if we are going to differentiate the term area then i can write it as a partial differential format da upon a is equal to da upon a is equal to cd square where cd square is applicable the partial differential form c into twice of 2d into d of d upon cd square if we are arranging the terms by using the mathematical format then it is written as a 2 d of d upon capital d where a that is the cross sectional area of the wire pi by 4d square rho that is the resistivity of the wire material and l that is the length of the wire now what we are supposed to do we are simply make a partial differential of this particular equation r is equal to rho l by a once you are start to doing the partial differential format of the given equation the equation can be reduced as dr by r is equal to d rho by rho plus dl by l minus 2 of d d of d by d this particular term can be written from the equation minus da upon a we have to replace the value da upon a is equal to 2 d of d upon capital d suppose i will divide whole the equation by dl by l then we can get dr by r upon dl by l is equal to d rho by rho upon dl by l plus 1 minus d 2 of 2 times d of d upon d upon dl by l we know the unit fractional change where we know that 
डी आर बाय आर विच इज द यूनिट और द फ्रैक्शनल चेंज इन द रेजिस्टेंस डी एल बाय एल दैट इज द स्ट्रेन द एक्सीएल डायरेक्शन और द यूनिट चेंज माइनस डी ऑफ डी अपॉन डी दैट इज द स्ट्रेन इन द लेटरल डायरेक्शन नाउ फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस टॉपिक वी नो दैट द डी आर बाय आर अपॉन डी एल बाय एल दैट इज नोन एज अ गेज फैक्टर आई कैन राइट इट एज अ एफ वी नो माइनस डी ऑफ डी upon dl by l that is the poisson's ratio we can write it as a mu so what we can replace we can replace as a f that is the gauge factor here f that is the gauge factor is equal to d rho upon rho divided by dl upon l plus 1 minus minus plus 2 of mu this is the basic equation for the gauge factor or we can say this is the basic equation of the theory of the strain gauges the differential d rho by rho will becomes zero because change in the resistivity over a resistivity or we can say change in the resistivity over the increase in the force or we can say decrease in the length decrease in the diameter or whatever any of the parameter the change in the resistivity will be zero because resistivity is a materialistic property it is not depends on the dimension of the material it is not depends on the dimension of the workpiece element it is directly depends on the materialistic condition of the given material if the materialistic condition will not change the resistivity will not change so we can eliminate those term by putting the zero so i can say that f is equal to here this is one pardon me this is one so i can say that f is equal to 1 plus 2 mu where mu that is the poisson's ratio i hope you are properly cleared about the concept of the theory of resistance strain gauge the particular f is equal to 1 plus 2 mu will useful for che checking the value of the gauge factors for checking the value of the strain sensitivity factor by checking the change in the ratio of the lateral to linear dimensions or we can say uh, by finding the value of the poisson's ratio you are supposed to select or we you are supposed to decide whether the particular strain gauge is useful or not whether the particular strain gauge is selected from the given uh, set of the st uh, strain gauges or not suppose you have to make a decision that uh, you have to select the strain gauge from let's say a and b then by using the uh, value of the poisson's ratio of individually a and b you are uh, supposed to decide whether to select a or whether to select b so guys here we are going to wind up our lecture what we have discussed today we have discussed uh, we have start with the basic concept of the strain gauge then the different different types of the strain gauge mechanical optical and electrical strain gauge then we have discussed the brief idea about the gauge factor or we can say the strain sensitivity factor and at the end of the topic we have derived the equation for the gauge factor it is known as a theory of resistance strain gauge the equation stands as a f is equal to 1 plus 2 of mu where f that is a gauge factor and mu that is a poisson's ratio here we are winding our lecture from next lecture we are start with the new topic pressure measurement till then thank you